Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to a new video for One Point of My Reaction Week where we're going to cover the last learning outcome for this subtopic which is I perform calculation using the integrated rate equation or integrated rate law. So where do we learn about integrated rate law? It is actually based on your notes on page 7. Okay, so on page 7, the integrated rate law here. This one. Okay, as you can see, for each of the order of the reaction, we'll have different integrated rate law. The same goes for our half-life. So, for the chapter uh, 1 itself here, uh, the first formula that you have to memorize, uh, not first law, the sixth formula that you have to memorize is this one. Okay, so it's just that, for example, uh, for this specific um, info on page 7 here, why do I use for the formula A0 minus AT, then A0 minus A0 AT, because on this equation itself, uh, the reactant is A. For example, if the question give you the reactant is NH3 and you come uh, H2 and N2, okay. So, um, if the reactant is given, so for the formula, you have to write down here concentration of NH3, not minus NH3 uh, current equal to KT. Yeah. So, A is actually because uh, based on this specific example, so the the concentration too. Uh, let's look, uh, please refer to the reactant on your question. Okay, but then, uh, for the examples here, uh, um, I have written down uh, beforehand uh, the formula for zero, first, and second. Because that is the general one, so I write down A lah. But then we have to write down the uh, A naught and the A T for the specific uh, A too. It must be the specific reactant. Okay, so let's look, let's do the examples. Let's have a look at examples on page 14. So, okay, let's um, extract the information. Dia bagi dekat sini, K is equal to 2.5 exponent negative 4 molar per minute. So, question A, they ask you the rate equation or the rate law. Okay, remember, it's actually a zero order reaction. So, that's why it's to the power of zero ataupun we could write rate equal to K. So, question B, they ask you about the half-life. So, what is the half-life? When the uh, concentration of ammonia is 0 0.75. And then from the question, we know that the K is 2.5 exponent negative 4. Okay, so we're going to look based on the um, apa ni? Based on the formula for the integrated rate equation. So, we use um, half-life equal to ayam bagi dua kaki. So, ayam ni, dalam kes ni, specificnya adalah NH3. So, I'm just gonna label in NH3 not bagi divide by 2K. Okay, so I'm just gonna substitute the value. Hence, we will get the answer is 1,500. But how about the unit itself? Okay, so kalau unit tu, kita tengoklah. Unit concentration molar and the K is molar per minute. Hence, we'll get the unit is minute. Okay, next we're going to look at question number 2. So again, dia bagi zero order. So dia minta rate constant. And this is the information given. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to extract the information from the question. So the initial concentration is um, 1.5 molar. Bagi time 120 second. And the concentration is 0.75 molar. So I'm just going to substitute all the value. Okay, yang tak tahu. So, I'm going to substitute all the value into the formula. Okay. So, this formula yang memang um, direct substitution. Okay. So, again, make sure memang general formula dia adalah A. But then, for a given um, equation, kita masukkanlah specific the reactant itself. So, that's why formula semua mesti letak NH3. Which is reactant lah for question 1 dengan question 2. Okay, now we get K, we get value the 6.25 exponent negative 3. But how about the unit itself? So again, kalau zero order ataupun the unit of the rate constant, tak perlu hafal pun tak apa, we just gonna uh, derive it based on our rate law. Okay, so rate is equal to K. So what is the unit of rate? Rate tu adalah uh, molar per point. Tapi dalam kes ni, what is the time? Kita tengok pada question, dia bagi specific dia, time dia adalah second. Hence, the rate, dia punya unit adalah molar per second. 
So I'm just gonna put it here so that you can remember it. Okay, ataupun kalau contohnya ha, daripada sini lah. Ha, okay, so unit of rate constant kita boleh tengok pada nota kita on page 7. Okay, but if not you could write it down by yourself. So question number 4. Okay, yang ini adalah first order reaction. So again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um gonna extract the information. So I get the K and the cons the initial concentration. Okay, question A the specific tanya what is the time when the concentration is 0 0.6 molar. Okay, so then I'm just gonna copy paste. Okay, and then we're gonna use the formula itself. So tak nak guna ln A dalam question ni. Reaktan kita adalah H2O2. So we're just gonna learn H2O2. H2O2. Okay, and then we're going to substitute all the values in there. Includekan ln tu sekali lah. So, we get our time is, okay, you can tengok pada unit dia, K dia adalah per second. So, time unit dia adalah second. So, question B is another one. It's different one. Dia bagi, dia bagi time tapi dia minta the concentration. Okay, so sama juga uh, yang K dengan uh, concentration initial is from the question. So here is the formula, the integrated rate equation. Then I'm just going to substitute the value. Okay, and then um, kita guna... So, time dia adalah second And then make sure dia punya uh, rate cost pun the same unit So, there's no need for you to change anything lah For the time tu Hence, we get the concentration is 0 0.39 molar Unit of concentration is molar Again, make sure unit of time dengan rate cost dia sama Question number 3 ni uh, Tengok Kita kena tukarkan yang 100 second tu kepada minit Supaya it's the same unit from your Key for your key. Let's continue with example number five. So the bagi kat sini is a first order reaction. Okay, and then this is the information given. So I'm just gonna extract the information. Time is six point seven five minute. Okay, tapi again I'm just gonna write down the formula here. Okay, so we have our time. The uh, question asks for k. Tapi um, we don't have any information about ln a not dengan ln a t. But it's here the hint Okay, dah ada bagi hint dekat situ for yang 5% So, bila percentage So, what does it mean is Bila initial dia is actually 100% Okay, tapi what about the concentration at that time When time is 6.75 tu So, dia kata dah 5% decompose So, what is left What is 6.75 tu adalah 100 minus 5% so 5% dah decompose And during that time what is left is 95% And then I'm just going to um, Substitute the values Into the formula Again in the formula itself uh, Memang generally kita kata Reactant is A Tapi when we have the reactant from the given equation Kita akan uh, masukkan That species into the formula So K is the value 7.59 exponent negative 3 but then again, how about the unit? So, unit tu, again, it's actually depends on the rate law. So, here, kalau kamu tak nak hafal pun tak apa, um, kita akan sama-sama kita extract ataupun kita derive how to get. Okay. So, rate adalah molar per time but this question specifically minute. Okay, and then, and per minute divided by molar. So, our unit is actually per minute. So, rate constant kita, unit dia adalah per minute. So, here I'm just going to uh, circle it out. Jangan lupa, unit juga. Um, again, correct answer, no unit, still dapat zero. Okay, so question B, how to determine the half-life? So, half-life, uh, another formula that we're going to use is half-life is equal to ln 2 divided by K. So, K kita dah dapat from question A. Okay. And then, we get the value. Okay, how do I get the unit dalam minute? Sebab, again, remember... Uh, unit of K is per minute Okay, so for question 6 Let's look at the question Okay, yang ni lain sikit adalah 
differential rate equation ha, differential rate equation tu remember kita akan include reactant negative sign kalau dia punya product is positively sign and don't forget to do, uh, include the stoichiometry Okay, so for question B, it's the same as question A kamu. Okay, but then, okay, kat sini, I'm just going to give you hint. So, maknanya kalau 12.5%, initially 100%, what is left is 100 minus the given number. So, we get 68.5%. Okay, so number 7 ni, okay. What is the order of the reaction? Dia tidak ada bagi tahu. Tapi dia bagi hint dekat sini adalah the unit of the rate constant. And we know kalau unit dia per time, maka it is actually first order reaction. Okay, and then you should do yourself. Okay, tapi question 8. Uh, question 8, if you look at the question, I tak ada bagi tahu order of reaction. There's none. Okay, so how, kalau unit pun tidak ada. So, what is the hint? It's actually radioactive element. So, if you look at the passive question kat apa, kalau radioactive element ke, does not give you the order, it's actually a first order reaction. So, yang ini memang kamu kena ingat lah. Sebab yang kalau radioactive je mesti first, it can be zero ataupun two. Okay, let's start um, for the examples on page 16. Okay, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the information from the question. Okay, so the initial concentration, as we know at the percent ni, so we're going to assume initial dia adalah 100%. But then, uh, this question yang beza dia, dia bagi tahu dekat kita, 100% tu is what what is the concentration bila dia adalah 100%. So, it's 0.3 molar. So, for the current concentration tu, again macam biasa, kita 100 minus 15. Before this case, kita akan darabkan dengan 0.3 to get the value in molar. Okay, once we get the value, barulah kita bo boleh masukkan the value itself into the formula. Okay, so um, when you write down the formula, okay, kalau selalunya dia akan bagi kamu equation. So, E tu you have to substitute dengan the reactant in the equation. Then, I'm just going to substitute the value. And then, we will get the value of K. So, K is equal to 2.94. But then, K are the unit di sendiri. So, how to know the unit is actually unit of K mestilah kita tahu daripada rate law. Kita derive pada rate law kita sendiri. Which is unit kita rate equal to K and OCL squared. Rate is molar per time But then this question specifically Time dia adalah minute So kita terus specific lah Molar per minute equal to N uh, Km squared And then when we simplify it We get the value of K is Per molar per minute So kita masukkan sahaja Jangan lupa masukkan juga uh, Unit ni lah In chemistry pun sama juga Dia kena ada unit but Correct unit barulah correct Barulah dapat markah so, can kita continue dengan question number 10. So, first what I'm going to do, uh, extract information, what we have. Okay, lepas tu, concentration after 40 minutes. So, maknanya nak tahu concentration dia, at time is equal to 40 minutes. Okay, but then when you see, dia punya time dengan rate constant unit dia lain. So, senang kita change the unit of yang time tu dulu. Okay. So kita masukkan dalam formula Masukkan sahaja formula Oops Okay But then sorry This question Dia tak bagi tahu kamu kan What is the order of the reaction So tengok the unit And then kita tadi The first question kita tahu Kalau Permola per time Adalah second order So that's why kita akan gunakan The same formula So yang ini Miss copy paste from previous question je Sebab reaction dia pun sama sahaja Okay and then akan substitute the value so the concentration of NOCL is 8.62 exponent negative 3 molar ok again kali ni remember that the unit of time mestilah sama dengan unit of the constant ok habis tu kita kenalah tukar 